Good evening, 6.06 p.m. Thursday, April 18th, 2019, here on Gore Island, just two miles off the coast of the Senegalese capital, Dakar, aboard the Kumba Castle ferry, waiting for departure. It's been tons of young uh, students on uh, field trips today, as you can uh, see. Had a nice visit uh, to the island here. About 1,300 residents, uh, but mostly known as a slave shipping depot where numerous slaves bound for the Americas were held until their transportation was ready. I went into the uh, famous slave house, uh, which is just down that way a few hundred yards, which has the well-known door of no return, where the slaves were put out onto small boats and taken out to uh, larger ships for transportation across the Atlantic. Ferry was supposed to leave at six. My ferry over here was 54 minutes uh, tardy in departing. Hopefully this one will be a little bit closer to on time as I'm eager to get back to Dakar and ride the brand new commuter train, which opened three months ago. And I've got about an hour, 20 minutes of daylight remaining. And obviously I'd like to be able to see out the train, the terrain and the sites that we're going by so hopefully we'll get going soon and I'll be able to uh, have the train ride as my final venture here in Senegal and then tomorrow morning I'm scheduled to take a bus at the god-awful hour of 7 a.m. down to the Gambia where I'll be spending the next week. All right, 610, looks like we are getting ready to leave. That's great news. Uh, it's only about a 15 minute trip, just about two miles over to Dakar. And the train station is uh, a short walk from the ferry terminal. All right, fantastic. 6.11 and we are underway. So that should bode well for me uh, being able to get to the train station and get a ride heading out of the city during daylight. And then I'll probably have to return after sundown, but that's okay because I will have already seen everything. So somewhere just uh, down there where we're looking around the bend is the uh, slave house and door of no return. Slaves were stored there after being uh, taken to the island from the mainland, as I said, until their transoceanic uh, transportation was ready. Very sad story. Off we go back to Dakar. Here's the uh, fort toward the west. The island was held at various times by the Portuguese, English, Dutch, and then uh, eventually the French. Just 13 minutes after departing Gori Island, we are coming into the port of Dakar, 6.24 p.m., about one hour until sunset, as you can see looking west here. 
another absolutely beautiful day, 73 degrees, very pleasant. Humidity not bad at all. This has been the weather all week here in Senegal, blue skies. It's just been wonderful. So unlike the hot, humid weather you normally experience when visiting a tropical nation, Here's another ferry going back out to Gori. They're running two today with all these school field trips. on the back of that cargo ship. <laughs> it must just shoot out into the water. That would be quite a big splash. <laughs> There is not much of a skyline uh, here in Dakar. Very few mid-rise buildings and really no skyscrapers at all that I've seen. And I wonder if this is the ship that runs, I think three or four times a week from here down to the southern part of the country in the river port of Zugnichor. I think that's like a 16, 17 hour overnight run. Definitely looks like that could be that vessel. Okay, 629, we are pulling back to the Dakar Pier. That's great, I can wander over to the train station and uh, hopefully check out the brand new train.